it's probably more or less that one. Yeah, this looks like another Carrie, Stephen King Carrie house. Well, something of that nature. Oh my gosh, there's no way. Look at this. I'm not going up there, but I'm just, I don't think anyone lives. I don't know. There's a, let's just not try. Oh man. You know what? I, I know these things. I'm gonna, it's this one right here, but I'm going to do something really quick before. Oh man. We're going to kind of go wide. So I don't show a lot. Well, I show a little bit of the delivery. I guess I show that I imply that I talk a lot about film and drive around and deliver pizzas. <laughs> They're like, so cool. Cool. You're doing a restaurant delivery show. It's just an excuse for me to talk about film occasionally personal issues. I try to keep it, I guess, film. I don't know. Quentin Tarantino, blah, blah, blah. Or Egmar Bergman, Martin Scorsese, blah, blah, blah. You know, why not? Why not? People love film. Well, I listen to uh, not necessarily commentary, more like interviews uh, all the time on YouTube. So I get information that maybe fast tracks you guys from the cliff notes if you're in film school or something. Well, yeah, you know, keep the description short and make it all dialogue. And it usually sells the screenplay far better than having descriptions. Sorry, Christoph Waltz, if you're watching. I don't know. I know that you're married and have uh, children and all that stuff. I know how that is. And it's very, it's a big responsibility. And you have to constantly tell them, wait for the cream. Wait for the cream. Wait for the cream. Um, and that's tough. Because I know how kids are. They just want to eat the waffle down. There we go. Now we found it. This is much more civilized on the backing up and talking about Christoph Waltz and delivering a pizza. All the mainers are at least up drooling and watching the show. I apologize sincerely. Especially if the escape from Maine becomes a... So another night of delivery. We're going to head back to see Linda and Kitty. All right. Well, Christoph Waltz is certainly one of my favorite actors. I didn't put him down on my list in the Internet Movie Database because I only had so much room. I put down Marlon Brando, Robert De Niro, and Gary Oldman. And then I think I put down A.W. White so I, you know, so I wouldn't burn in H.E. double hockey sticks because he did a lot of Christian films, Puritan films. Uh, Cat on Crook is another thing that I would be interested in Christoph Waltz for. Uh, which is in production. It's the script is like in process. Is really what it is. I got one of those caramel dollar, but it deals with a thief that gets redeemed. Now there's a high end thief, which is a very sophisticated person that gets his product from a runner, and the runner's lower in. Then there's a YouTuber that could almost borderline expose him. Now it'd be interesting if we had like this rehearsal and if I were going to play the YouTuber, which is called the bird or, uh, the cat named crook character, which is the higher end guy who his name in it is, uh, Hopper head. Now Rob, the runner who uh, is a lower end guy, he calls him Carl Lewis. Uh, they're all kind of in a, like a triangle, but what ends up happening is Rob, the runner gets hurt on a job. He runs the phones, meaning he actually goes and gets them. This is like when the smartphone industry had first kind of taken off. 
They can get into the phones. They use this kind of David Lynchian thing. They use this chick name. Um, she's the one that has epilepsy and she speaks in tongues. Uh, wow, why am I forgetting her name? I, I, I completely have com completely lost her name for a minute. Um, went completely, cannot think of her name. For, let me try some cookie. Sometimes cookie helps. Sorry. I may have to consult my notes. Copperhead, the bird, Rob the runner. Hmm. We're back. Sorry, it's Neo Noir. It's Kitty, yeah. Sorry, I just, I, uh, Kitty would be a name in Neo Noir. It's, it, it's Neo Noir, so there'd be shadows in it, just like in the following, only not that pronounced, but you'd get hints of Neo Noir. So Kitty is the one that has epilepsy and speaks in tongues, and she's the one that can get into the phones very easily. So Rob the Runner can get them from the outside world. He gives them to Hopper Head. Hopper Head gives them to kitty and kitty can open them then they can get information and do what they want with the phones or refurbish them or whatever this goes on for a while the thing is is that hopper head once worked for cricket when cricket was taken off so eventually after he gets redeemed rob the runner helps him with that because rob the runner gets hurt goes to a church asks for help then he goes and spreads the news to hopper head he becomes redeemed and goes back to cricket and bird instead of exposing him helps him start his own show as in a show where he could sell the phones through the show when shows are first starting to take off and stuff this would probably be about uh, maybe like between 2012 2013 2014 or something like that po pre-covid or something anyway i just wanted to say that but anyway the reason why i mentioned christoph waltz is because uh he'd be great for either bird or hopper head both would work because he can play the villain as well as the good guy and that's hopper head would be a villain and a good guy because he would he has an arc his character arc so hopper head's kind of a more mature character but then again bird would be good for him too because he's also older and already understands this youtube stuff kind of like uh you ever seen that guy uh tony carolina Carolina Tony. Sorry, Carolina Tony. He's this older YouTuber that does very good. Anyway, I'll get to it later. There's Kitty. Look at that special Kitty. Of course. Isn't that a good, good Kitty? Easy bird.